Hello everyone, this is Morrow, and this should be the third video for the Make Your Own Comic tutorial. And so far what you should have already done is purchased a domain from GoDaddy, created an account on HostGator, and create, you know, bought a hosting service. You should have, uh, after you created an account, you should receive an email or whichever way it was done. You should have gotten a link to your cPanel. And once you logged into your cPanel, you should be into something that looks like this. Okay, so what should you do next? Well, so we're going to uh, download WordPress in this video. So all you have to do is just do Website Essentials. You could, I, I'm pretty sure you can just click this, but in case not, just do one click installs, which would take you here. Click WordPress, which takes you here. And all you have to do is select your domain. You should only have one because I'm pretty sure you only bought one domain. You only linked one to the hosting service of HostGator. So just pick whatever it was and then just click next. Uh, let me just do one. All right, so just fill out your blog title, admin user, first name, last name, admin email. Uh, for blog title, just type in the website name without the dot com. For admin user, uh, for security reasons, don't put admin, don't put the name of your website, don't use your first or last name. Just create something, an alias or something, whatever, it doesn't matter. But you know, nothing that can be, make it easy to hack into. And then when you click install, I'm not gonna do this step, but you're gonna click install, you'll see something on top that tells you, uh, basically like this overall website progress 25%. Uh, so just give it like a couple of seconds and it'll be done. It shouldn't take that long. Uh, but you will get a link, your username and your password. Write it down. I'm pretty sure you also, or oh, check your email as well. You should have gotten an email that has that information. But again, just uh, copy copy it down. It's always a good idea to copy everything, you know, your passwords and usernames down in case you lose them. So once you click on the admin link for your WordPress site, you should be... All right, so I'm going to give you an example of what, once you open up your WordPress theme, what and what you should expect to find. So once you activate your WordPress and you go to the link, type in your username and your password, you should get something that looks like this. You might, from the start, you might need to uh, update. So just, you'll probably see something that says like update, like three updates need to be done, which is fine. You know, just update everything. Uh, what you should see, you should see uh, pages, appearances. Let's go to settings first. Just so we get this done already. Uh, re remember, you you should already have your SSL certificate ready or already activated. So you might be seeing an HTTP colon your website. Well, just add an S, add an S to the site. You know, this is for your homepage for your WordPress installation directory. Type in your email. I think you should already have this. Now, just leave it unchecked because you don't need anyone to log in or I mean, not log in, but to register. And then just save changes. And let's go to permalinks. This is all just like some basic stuff you need to do now so you don't have to worry about about it later. You might, one of these bullets might be filled in, just go to post name and then just save changes and what else, what else, what else. And we're, I want you to go to appearances. Well, I should have just gone to themes. Well, that's uh, we're here. And you should see a custom. 
or first you'll you should see these I believe these three these three themes should already be pre-installed but what, what we're gonna do is make our own theme and so you shouldn't have anything shown yet which is fine but this video is just to set up your WordPress and I think that's basically all you need to get it started and in the next video I will discuss the file manager so just go to file manager yeah, it looks like I got a login which is fine alright so you should see this some of these folders do not exist in your example you might not see some of these files because I created them, so don't worry. Just click on HTML. You should see, okay, again, you're not going to see demo. You're not going to see work demo. Those are the ones I created from earlier. But you should see something that says WP content. Themes. And you should see a couple, you should, first, well, you should only see 2015, 2017, in 2016 so in the next video I'm going to show you how this is linked to this all right well I'll see you in the next video bye bye